Hey guys, it's Jeremy and Grayson here from Kitchen Dad today. Um, we are going to review this six quart Uno Casa Dutch oven. It's enamel coated uh, cast iron, which is pretty neat. I'm also going to make a lamb stew recipe in it, so to show you um, how wonderful it works. To start, I just wanted to say I, I really love the design of this. Um, you know, the handles are nice and big which makes it easy to grip if you're moving it around. Um, do be careful if you're already cooking with it. Uh, these will get warm most likely. Um, the other thing is I just, I love the red color. Um, I think the design is, is really nice. Um, as you can see, this lid has these um, little bumps all throughout it. And what that does is as you're cooking in the condensation, it's coming up to the lid. It allows that moisture to drip back down over the meat, constantly braising it, keeping it moist. Um, and as you can also see, it's coated on the inside as well as, as the outside, so you don't have to season it like a normal uh, cast iron pot. And, and you can also um, wash it with some mild detergent, which normally a lot of people for cast iron um, Dishes will tell you not to use soap because you'll, you'll take the seasoning, seasoning away. So the other cool thing that the Dutch oven came with was this pad that you can rest it on after it's hot, if you're taking it out of the oven. Um, and it also has these uh, cool little grips that you can pick it up with as it's hot so you won't burn your hands. And they also um, will help you have a firm grip and not slip out of your hands. So. As you can see, um, today uh, I'm going to make a lamb stew. We're going to keep it pretty simple. Um, we also don't have a huge family, so uh, I've just got one pound of lamb, some carrots, some celery, some onions. I didn't have any um, beef stock, but I did have a couple boxes of beef bone broth, so I'm going to use that, which will be fine. And I also have a little bit of red wine to give, give it some, some richness. So to start, as you can see, um, the, fat, the lamb has a nice layer of fat on it. So Grayson is going to take this lamb and place it inside the pot with the fat side down while it's still cold. I'm going to tuck this uh, bracelet so you don't get it dirty. So the reason I'm having him do this is I want to render out some of this fat before we start uh, browning our vegetables. And since there's a nice little layer of fat on this meat, um, I'm going to start with a cold pan and then turn it on. And that will allow us to render out more of the fat. As you have, may have also noticed, I had the oven preheated to 300 uh, which is what we'll braise the stew at after we get it all put together. Alright, now Grayson's going to go wash his hands and I'm going to turn this on about medium for the fat to start rendering out. Alright, our lamb's been going for about 7 or 8 minutes now. Um, we've got about a, a tablespoon and a half of fat rendered out of it, so I'm going to scoop that out and we're going to start browning our onions. Alright, come a little closer. And as you can see, this lamb is pretty much brown on one side. That's the side that we put down. So Grayson is going to carefully place these onions in the pan. Actually, just dump it. I'll spread them out with a spoon. Spread these out. <laughs> I don't cry when I cook. I'm gonna probably cry if I'll pass those Alright, so you just want to spread those out so they're easy touching the bottom. And while that is working, I'm gonna put a little salt on the lamb. Or 
Grayson's going to put a little salt on the lamb. Okay. I'll hold it. Okay. The lamb. Just a little more. And we're going to put the love. Okay, good luck. And we're also going to do some fresh ground black pepper on the lamb. Okay. Hold it upside down. So we're just going to gently stir this, this so the seasoning spreads all over. We're going to let that sit yep. while our vegetables brown a little bit. Alright, we've got some nice color on our onions now. So we're going to season the onions, throw in the rest of the vegetables, season those, um, throw in the lamb, the beef stock, and the wine, and we're going to bring that up to a simmer and then we'll throw it in our oven. So Grayson's going to season the onions with salt and pepper. I'm a big fan of uh, seasoning each component. Yeah, a little bit more. Uh, seasoning each component of the dish because 50% of being a good cook is knowing how much salt and pepper to put. And I'm also a big fan of using fresh ground pepper versus pre-ground. Okay, go ahead and throw in the onions and celery. Yeah, or sorry. The, okay, go ahead and throw in the carrots and celery. We're keeping it simple today. You could easily uh, throw potatoes in here or mushrooms. Uh, we're just kind of working with what we have. You could also easily scale this up to two pounds of meat. Uh, some more salt and pepper on those. Um, but sometimes less is more. Some pepper. Okay. There you go. And now we're just going to add back our lamb. Make sure you uh, get any juices accumulated back in there. Just going to add some flavor. Going to add our red wine and some beef, some bone broth or beef stock, and. Um, you just need enough liquid to cover everything, so uh, I'm actually not going to use the second bone broth that I have. So we're just going to bring this up to a simmer, and then I'm going to cover it and put it in the oven uh, at 300 for about two hours. Alright, I'm not sure if you can tell um, from the video, but it's, it's just got to a simmer. So I'm just going to pop my lid on and throw it in the oven. Uh, just from you know, these 10 or 15 minutes of working with it on the stove, the handles are already pretty warm. Uh, so just be careful when you transfer it to the oven. I'm gonna use the, uh, the grips that it came with. Um, my top wraps are gonna blow, so I'm just gonna put that up. So we're going to leave that in there for about two hours. Um, like I said, the, the lid's going to produce that rainfall effect. Uh, so hopefully uh, the meat comes out nice and juicy. All right, so we just took our uh, lamb stew out of the oven. It's been there for two hours at 300 degrees. We were letting the Uno Casa Dutch oven do its work its magic. So now we're going to check this out for the first time. And it's looking pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I can see we didn't use a ton of liquid, so it's kind of um, reduced down a little bit. And this lamb is super tender. The spoon is kind of slicing right through it. 
So I'm pretty happy with how this looks right now. We're going to give it a taste. Uh, like I mentioned, I've got a bowl of rice that we're going to put it over. So I'm just going to scoop a little bit on there and get some of the extra juice. And I'm going to let Grayson be my taste okay. tester. So here you go, buddy. I'm going to take a... Probably hot. Blow on it a little bit. What do you think? It's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Does it need anything? It's just right. It's just right. Alright, so that was our lamb stew recipe as well as our review of the Uno Casa enamel uh, coated cast iron Dutch oven. Um, I'm pretty, pretty happy with this. I could definitely recommend it. Uh, you know, the heat seems to be evenly distributed and it produced a great product. So, Give those a try and let us know what you think. See you next time. Bye-bye.